Hello guys, my name is Marcelo. I am the artist behind the Visual Mandra and today I'm going to be showing the process of how I do my art. Uh, the, the first piece I'm going to be sharing with you is this uh, chakra print overlay that I created recently and I printed recently as well. So the first step to for, for me to get to this spot was to well everything that I that I do is start with drafting, writing and incubating the thoughts and the, the concepts. So in this case as I wanted to create a my take on the, the mantras what I did is I went one by one and then I got the my research and took note of the elements, the things that I wanted to include that the regular chakras didn't have and then we'll get them in a physical visual form. So here is some of the, uh, the, the play, the line work, which this one, the sacral chakra is the one that looks more like it than of course these ones were just more of the, the outlines which now I'll bring in the computer here so that you can see it's uh, the now the finished pr of product of each chakra so that's uh, earth, sacral, uh, solar, heart which I love this one it's amazing uh, and so on so third and crown now because well to print it in a circle I thought that it was going to be a good idea this is actually a it's not the same but I was playing with an overlay of how that would look on, on top so now having it having it like this of course this is the end result now like this which some process may differ a little bit sometimes I would create exactly what I want to digitalize and then whole thing about you know vectorization and then printing printing it on this time canvas like texture um, this is another example where well this was not as complete as the past one but as you can see uh, this is the end result being of course which to to get from this to here the only thing is getting the line work and putting up the colors which is something that it just takes a little some time to to work on our own and then the last piece I wanted to, to share, which in this case it's the one of the more elaborate ones in terms of note taking. As you can see here, I did, uh, I divided the piece into four sections and then wrote each one in my notebook, then got a draft on the four sections. Of course, because sometimes well, because I know that I'm going to take a photo of this, put it on my computer, and outline it. I tend to skip now some uh, steps that I know I'm going to do, but uh, I can save that for the computer. So, that said, I wanted to, to show you this last piece here on the computer how it looks uh, finished the line work uh, being from of course you know pretty rough drafts to the final lines which if this being a vector it's a mess if you look at in that in that format of course there's just like lines all over and it's also one of the the things that if if you you haven't you want to 
graphics for this type of format medium is well one I'm using uh, a program called Affinity Designer and a really thing a good thing that I have uh, been practicing is to organize my layers that's that's pretty useful uh, that said I decided to make this as a, a coloring meditation kind of activity where the I also designed this little like worksheet to make it more I guess collaborative in, in every in every step of the process. How I do I tend to do my process. Uh, I would love to hear from you any questions, anything that you would like to add, share or uh, expand upon. Thanks.